What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Shit, you know, I had to take my whole video down just on some bullshit and give me a strike and try to take my whole channel. And then, you know, this is the same for the kids. Hey, this is some graphic shit, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the popos are, hey, animals, savages. But let's get into it.
I'm You're not in trouble. I just need to Massey. touch. Massey. Huh? Massey. What? Ha you have an ID? That'd make things so much easier. I, I just need to get just a driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what? get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. I got some paperwork. Well, just get your ID real quick. Well, let's get your ID test. first, and then... One task at a time here. Okay. Let me here, grab it. your ID for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID, and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. You, you have... see that stack right there, maybe? Okay. One second. Just check on her. Let me get this. No, we don't need a fire while we're here. All right. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away no, from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Huh? I'll shoot you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot your ass. Uh-huh. Okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID, and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. I don't know where my ID is. Okay. Here, grab your ID for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. 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 Let me Check on her. No, we don't need a fire while we're here. Right. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Oh, where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away, no, from from away from your hot steam and water. Away from my hot steam and water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Huh? I'll shoot you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. Right. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the I'm fucking sorry. pot! Drop the fucking pot! Drop the fucking pot! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Drop the fucking pot! Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let me see. 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 Waste my med stuff then. You want to run down real quick? Nope, not yet. All right. All right. House is clear. She was the only one. Where's she going? No, she had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water. You shot her? Yeah. She said she was going to rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with boiling water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where she's landed. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm good. This fucking bitch is crazy. <laughs> so, is there anything you think we can do for her? No. Alright. I'm not even going to waste my med stuff then. You want to run down real quick? Nope, not yet. Alright. House is clear. She was the only one. Where's she going? No, she had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water. You shot her? Yeah. She said she was going to rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with boiling water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where she he's landed. <clears throat> Okay, keep getting it. Okay. But Malachi, who was her oldest child, her son, who was the next of kin? Um, well, they told me, well, I got a call from the hospital, actually. I never got a call from the police. But they told me that my mom, she had got shot in the eye, and it came out her neck. And they didn't tell me who. They were just saying somebody. They never would tell me who. I, they just kept on saying someone shot her. I, they would never tell me who shot my mom, though. So, and I think I was the first person to find it out, too. I had to go tell my grandma, myself. That's all I can say. And you kept asking who? Yeah, they wouldn't tell me at all. <laughs> they wouldn't. Thank you, Malachi. We know how hard this is on you and Summer. Uh, Mr. Wilburn, do you want to say anything before we take questions? 
I want to say again, I'm calling for the sheriff's resignation because I think it's a culture to treat this family this bad, to call these lies. If it were not for that camera footage, we as a people, they would have lied and they would have lied their way right out of this. So he needs to resign. So no matter who of his emissaries try to come and talk to me, nobody's, I'm not going to talk to anybody unless my attorney's with me. Because you will never twist anything I said. I'm very clear and I'm very eloquent. He needs to resign. Thank, thank you, Mr. Weirborn. Obviously, you can hear the passion in his voice. Uh, a family who lost their daughter and their mother, their loved one. So, to be clear, we want this matter to be cleared up, be investigated, uh, so the family can have answers to how certain things unfolded. Um, if somebody, well, you listen to it for yourself. If somebody did try to suggest it was self-inflicted, then we need to know who. And there needs to be accountability. Um, this was important to the family to have these matters investigated. So we uh, look to the authorities to do a thorough investigation on each and every aspect of what led to the killing, the killing, and the aftermath of the killing. They, we think justice requires such. With that, we will continue to say her name, Sonia Massey. We will continue to say justice for Sonia Massey. We will continue to fight for justice for Sonia Massey. We don't want it to be swept under the rug. We don't want another Laquan McDonald. We were very clear with the governor on that. Charges, we can't be satisfied with just charges in the black community. We've seen it too many times. If we forget about it a year from now, even if the jury came back and found them guilty, if we're not vigilant, you'll get the Laquan McDonald treatment where they'll give them a slap on the wrist and give three years for uh, execution. <laughs> this video tells the story. There is no justifying this video whatsoever. This the full um um uh, raw video of the, of the family. Thank you all so much. Shout out to the family for being strong black people. Because if it wasn't for the family, if these family was anything like a family that support the popo, this would never came out. If they would have been whitewashed, it would have been done. It was very difficult for me, and it was my third time. Each time I watched it. I think about black women all over America being hunted. We have something to be afraid of. Those of us who have Now we can't be daughters, afraid. We used to be concerned. The only thing we fear is God, Yahweh. You we can't, can't be afraid of these humans. Well. Especially the white people. I am so grateful to be here today with Attorney Crump. But God gonna be all evil. Family. This day means so much to us that the mother, the son, the daughter, the father thought it was important for all of us to be here together. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Attorney Ben Crump. Attorney Ben? Thank you. Um, thank you again, Teresa, for allowing us to be in the facility um, to comfort the family and to try to 
continue to make sure we get justice for Sonia Massey. Um, I'm here with Attorney Natalie Jackson, Attorney Paul Green, Attorney Jennifer Hightower, and as Teresa said, Miss Donna, her mother, uh, Mr. James, her father, her children, Summer and Malachi, and a host of cousins and uh, uncles and aunts. The updates of these. Shout out to the family for being strong black people, man. And not crumbling under these white people, man. And folding for them. And cooning and buffooning. Who has to stand for their own black people? There have been some concerns and revelations by the family that we they need to be investigated and addressed completely. Um, number two, the family had a meeting with Governor Pritzker. Tired it, boo. Lieutenant Governor. Uh, and it was an hour long meeting. And they were very personal with Miss Donna and Malachi. And how did, how did the C call pop up and she got killed? Uh, What's going on? They expressed. Especially the lieutenant governor, that she's the mother of four black daughters. So it is very personal. Um, the governor gave his commitment that the state will use all their resources to make sure Tell you, Popo. that equal justice is paramount, that they will be partners in justice because they understood that oftentimes. Sawyer Masseys of the world don't get due process of the law and that they were committed to saying this is going to be a fair and transparent investigation and process at every level. And I think Ms. Donna uh, was very open with the governor saying that the trouble sometimes and the black community, we see that when the police kill us, they put on uh, administrative leave. She called it a vacation. And then nothing really happens. And she wanted to ensure that that ain't going to happen here. Mr. James Wilburn, her father, was a little more forceful. What's your... He talked about, nah, he don't understand why he was ever hired in the first place. The fact that he uh, had two DUIs, Mr. James says, he believed that it was six times in four years. He worked for six different law enforcement agencies in four years. Insane! He two of those agencies. And so Mr. James wanted to Crip, know that's wild. why was he even hired by the Sheriff's Department. And he had two DUIs. He, he kept medicine was returning. Issues with the Sheriff's Department. He uh, said that the Sheriff's Department uh, Cold blood murder. Should have known about his past if they did any kind of investigation. And he said that Senator Turner is putting forth a bill to say that you should be allowed if you are uh, accused of some kind of an ethical violation of policy within one law enforcement department be able to resign without having any findings and then go to the next law enforcement agency. He said that that is a problem because you have these uh, bad law enforcement officers doing bad things to people, having allegations of excessive force, and then they just go to the next agency and they hurt somebody else. And he said that he wanted a commitment from the governor that they would try to have responsive legislation to try to prevent something like this from happening again, and that if that legislation came across your desk, that you would sign such legislation as a Sonia Massey bill. And so 
They try to go behind the scene and try to squeeze the family. It's insane. Shout out to the strong black family, man. Not these bozos to rock or anything the police say. Having a breakdown of we're talking about Sonya. We're talking about the video and how senseless it was. The governor, the lieutenant governor, everybody said they looked at the video and they believe it was senseless as well. Um, and then the issue we're here for today, they expressed to the governor, starting with Mr. Wilburn, this whole thing about how they seem to not have been told the truth at the very beginning. And the family kept drawing our attention to the fact that they were saying it was self-inflicted. Self-inflicted? How was he dug down? He had to go around the corner to shoot somebody. That's insane. Attorney Jackson got from Mr. Wilborn and the family, the audio we will share it with you, press at fanquote.com from the police communications, and they are, are asking a question, dispatch say, just confirm, self-inflicted question mark, and this was at 1.23 a.m. Central Standard Time, five, fifth hour, Oh, five seconds on the dispatch audio link that has been shared with you all. And then county, the copy, county's update at 1.24 a.m. Uh, there's, you hear there's some intelligible conversations going on. You hear somebody say, I didn't. And then you hear again at 1.24 a.m. at the fifth hour, uh, 22nd mark, on the dispatch audio link that we released, it says self-inflicted. And then they say, okay, thank you. Uh, now, we needed to be investigated. We talked to John Milheiser, who the state's attorney who had been very transparent and had been very zealous in his prosecution of the matter. However, Jimmy Crawford, the father of uh, Sonia's youngest child, and uh, her companion said that when he got to the house, and he's going to tell you what they told him, they never said it was a deputy involved shooting. He said, and he'll take that record, but he said that they said what we know she was having problems with her neighbor as to suggest that the neighbor might have done it because they all were asking what happened when they got to the house? What happened? Shadea Massey, her cousin, who is very close like a sister, was like, what happened? And they were rude talking about it's under investigation. It's under investigation. They wanted to know what was the history between her and her neighbor. Um, then you know what the whole world <laughs> her son it was even troubling because he was the next to can and you hear what the hospital was saying to him and then you hear from uh, Mr. Crawford also what they said the cops had no rights to shoot that lady when she, had, when she didn't even do that thing they told her to get the pot off the stove which is just disturbing like the that fuck is going on? She just said that she didn't need no help. So, the, so she was saying, no, I'm good. I was trying to tell somebody, person, feel like somebody was going around her house yeah, fucking her shit up. And when they asked, can she go inside? They're like, nah, like she didn't really need no help. They forced the issue. There's no Kamala Harris. She locked up black niggas for a living. She helped all the fake Jews and all the immigrants. She don't help black people out. Sonia Massey deserved to be saved. She don't want to talk about when it's time for election time and vote. We ain't listening to Kamala Harris. 
at the hands of a responding officer sworn to protect and serve. Doug and I said it's only convenient for her when she got time to, to vote in time, man. Kamala Harris, we ain't going for you. And we joined them in grieving her senseless death. Our thoughts are also with the communities across our nation whose calls for help are often met with suspicion, distrust, and even violence. The disturbing video, the disturbing footage released yesterday confirms what we First know you want to be Indian, the then you want to be black. Nah, so bro, you can't just say, oh, I'm Indian. One day, like, oh, I'm black. The next, no, we ain't going for it. Our justice system fully lives up to its name. If it was a black man, she would have threw that nigga I in prison President while Biden he was dead. And commended the swift action of the state's attorney's office and in calling on Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, a bill that I co authored in the Senate. In this moment, but you didn't want nothing for black people to succeed. You talk like an innocent and black man of Kamala so Harris. Whose names we may never know. Dang, I wish um, Michelle Obama was running for, for president. That advance the safety of all communities. Vice President Kamala Harris. Man, and she so ain't doing nothing. Time, we're going to have Mr. Jimmy. Crawford coming, who was one of the first ones on the scene from the family, Webb Shadair, to have both of them come to address what they uh, was told. And then at the very end, we have questions of the year from all the family members. Jim, what you go first? The first thing I'm going to say is all life matters. Black life matter. When I got to the scene, the officer notified me that it was under investigation. We knew that she had problems with her nature. Now, once was I told that the officer did it. They tried to make me believe that it was the neighbor or somebody that did it. And then the message got to the hospital that it was a self-inflicted. Uh, Why did you say the neighbors did it? I said how that message got passed out. Because you're from a sheriff department. That's supposed to be professional. You know, the they let her die. You know, how do you get that confused? If you just, if you that confused, you don't need that job. Because that is one thing you cannot get to choose. Such a and you're doing it to somebody's two different statements. And that's how the, they made me believe that somebody else did it to her. And they made the hospital believe that. Can, can you tell us when you talk about the hospital, where did you hear that from? I'm not going to say her name, but my friend works at the hospital. When she realized that was my BM, she called me. Because she was concerned about no family showing up. It was too much time to pass. Without the family being notified, and she heard the police telling the nurses she killed herself. How do you get like, confused? How do you how do you how do you get confused with you saying I shot her or she shot herself? To me, that's a cover up and get though. It, it wasn't until the doctor came back and made the statement, "This is not self inflicted. This is a homicide." Then this true statement came out that there's an officer involved shooting. So I was the first family member on the scene. I'm her cousin, Shadia. And when we arrived on scene, we were trying to figure out what happened. Um, we asked the officer what was going on. Did they recover the camera footage? Because my cousin had cameras at her house. And we were looked at like they didn't know what was going on. They told, they laughed at us. I was confused. I didn't know. I went there for answers because I thought that someone came into the home to kill her. They didn't inform us or our family at all. And now we will have uh, Malachi and Ms. Donna. Okay, she did. Okay. So Malachi, this is son. who is her oldest child, her son, who is the next of kin. Uh, so they told me, well, I got a call from the hospital, actually. I never got a call from the hospital. They told me that my mom, she had got shot in the eye and it came out her neck. And they didn't tell me who. They were just saying somebody. They never would tell me who. I, they just kept on saying somebody shot her. Like, they would never tell me who shot my mom though. So, and I think I was the first person to find it out too. I had to go tell my grandma myself. That's all I can say. And you sure asked her who? Yeah, they wouldn't tell me at all. Mr. Wilburn, do you want to say 
That nigga, man. These white people got shit fucked up. Lost their daughter and their mother, their loved one. So, to be clear, we want this matter to be cleared up, be investigated, um, so the family can have answers to how certain things unfolded. Um, if somebody, now, you listen to it for yourself. If somebody did trying to suggest it was self-inflicted, then we need to know who. And there needs to be accountability. Um, this was important to the family to have these matters investigated. So we uh, look to the authorities to do a thorough investigation on each and every aspect of what led to the killing, the killing, and the aftermath of the killing. That you think justice requires such. With that, we will continue to say her name. Sonia Masters. We will continue to say justice for Sonia Masters. We will continue to fight for justice for Sonia Masters. We don't want it to be swept under the rug. We don't want another Laquan McDonald. We were very clear with the governor on that. Charges we can't be satisfied with just charges in the black community. We've seen it too many times. If we forget about it, a uh, year from now, even if the jury came back and found guilty, if we're not vigilant, you'll get the Laquan McDonald treatment where they'll give a slap on the wrist and give three years for uh, execution. This video tells the story. There's no justifying this video whatsoever. It's one of the worst police shooting videos ever. I wish that was a I pot mean, in her hand. That's insane. Look at the video. Listen to the words. There was one part in the video when you hear the audio where he suggests that she staged this. I mean... You talking about cover up. He said, I believe she staged this. Go back and listen to the video for yourselves. Don't take our word for it. Sonia Massey did not deserve this. We'll take a few of your questions if you have any. Mr. Yeah. Girl, please, what was the DOJ investigation for going forward? I this has been a part of the investigations into Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, and several other cases like this. Is there a scope given for this investigation right now? Is this specifically about civil rights, the potential civil rights violations? Is this about maybe the recruiting practices at the county? We, Have you been given anything? We don't know. Yes, that they will in an investigation. Yes, sir. Mr. Crump, thank you for the opportunity. In your words, why is DUI a disqualifier for police work? Well, you're breaking the law. How are you going to uphold the law if you're breaking the law? It, it, it did beg a lot of questions about why six law enforcement agencies in four years? And, and is it true what Mr. Wilbur and her, he was fired from two of them? You know, we need to find out what the sheriff's department knew when they hired them. Because if you hire substandard police 
police officers without being thorough and prudent. You get tragedies like this. Does Mr. Wilbur know which agency is part? No. And can you tell me where and when the meeting was with the government? At the, which church? With the Union Baptist Church this morning at 9.30. Can I say that? If, well, he can, if he can answer, what's your question? Just for people who don't know your mother personally. That's what would you like people to know about your mother? Um, she was loving, caring, she knew how to cook. Love her cooking. Yeah, I ate it up. She's the best cook you've ever had. And she was just a ball of energy. She could talk to anybody. Like, we go anywhere, she want to talk to them, she go talk to them. She just, I don't know, she was just a lovable, like a lovable person. She knew how to talk to anybody. Like, I don't know. She always helped people, too. That's the thing about her. She helps everyone. Mm -hmm. Always. Uh, how are you doing now? Mm, I'm, I don't know. Honestly, I'm okay, though, for the most part. This is just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't have no words for it. And you watched the video? No, I didn't watch it. But I seen like the start of the video, but I didn't finish it. I, mm. mean, I don't want to watch it. Yes, sir. That's um, a lot of shit, man. I understand how the different messages that the family got from all different types of people can be very upsetting but um is it possible that this could just represent the confusion that surrounds a lot of crimes right after they happen or incidents it is possible but we can't take it lightly with the history of cover-ups of police killers yeah, all they do is cover it up black people in america and so that's why we're just asking for it to be investigated the family feels strongly about you know, they have black people right to see. I mean, this was their mother. Does the family believe this is like a coordinated effort to yes. spread disinformation? Well, well, the family believed that they were told it was a law enforcement killing at the beginning. So if it was your daughter who got killed, what would you be thinking? Would you be thinking like Mr. Wilborn? I don't know, because so many people are, are weird as fuck. Like, I would be thinking like, like man, life. fuck these 12. We got to see what Why the fuck going on. Some of motherfuckers be like, oh, he deserved it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, these motherfuckers are weird these days, man. I mean, you get one mama. Yeah? Mr. Carver. Yes, sir. Mr. Carver, just to clarify a question from your statement earlier. When you arrived at the These people are weird these days. They don't want to fight for black people in your own family. They don't want to fight for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have some people that's gonna stand behind your back. Attempts to get more of the body camera footage from all the officers that responded to that scene as well. Uh, Illinois State Police have withheld that for right now because of the ongoing investigation. Do you believe that's because of all of that communication after the fact that's not involving the two deputies that were at the house? And is there questions and could that shed even more light on how this all transpired? Yeah. And as Attorney Jackson said, we don't know, but we've made the request of all body cam video, of all 911 tape, of all the police communication that evening. Uh, so they released the two body camera videos, and we don't have anything further. At least, we, we don't even know if it's edited. We, uh, These days, they edit videos, uh, nigga. We don't even know if it's edited, John, bro. You, know, you get what I'm saying? Be transparent with the fact. That's why I only release body cam, but it's edited. Yes, How you gonna edit the camera of what happened in the, in the, in the uh, killing? I got two questions. That's crazy. First one, you talk about whole justice. Can't release no you edited video. A civil lawsuit in Sangamon County. Uh, if so, when you plan to do that? We plan to explore every possible legal remedy to get full justice for Sonia Massey. And let me be clear on that point. We, we believe that black people in America deserve full justice just like white people in America. The Constitution applies to all Americans equally. Criminal culpability and civil accountability. And that's what we fully expect. When you want that, if that was your mother, you want full justice, right? Hell that's yeah. Justice. A real that's nigga, hell justice. yeah. If you're a real nigga, you, any killing of a black person, you want full justice. You mentioned the DOJ. Do you believe the FBI 
But if you a coon, shit, you never uh, know what these motherfuckers. Uh, they, they, they open up and they the tap dance. I, they did it on Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and others. So we hope that they will use whatever resources possible to help get justice. And what exactly did the family find out that it was a deputy who was involved in the shooting? That, 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 five. Five. Uh, no, they, they found out about 24 hours later. Okay. If you are. On the news. Oh, we, we, my brother read it on the internet. On the news. They found out from the news. Nobody from law enforcement ever told me. So, Mr. Crawford had said that this might have been a cover up. This wasn't a cover up. How many of the other. They all have strong feelings right now. Roxanne, he, he, he talking to a family who just saw their daughter shot in the face by law enforcement. Insane. They don't trust any law enforcement right now. Would you? Yeah, we're trying to get to the facts of what happened. That's why they're asking for a thorough investigation. And, and, and that's what we think. I know at the first press conference, that's what would it take to heal the community, remember Mr. Jane? It is trying to put yourself in their shoes and their neighbor's shoes. I know it's hard for some people to even fathom it, but it's a reality for most people of color, especially black people in America. We think about this. Everybody, everybody get all our and rights. The Mexicans, God, the Chinese, the fake no Jews. Politics. Everybody get the black and the white people. Everybody get the black so, people rights, but and us. So, yeah, they distrust them. Yeah, they believe it was a cover up when they were not told from the very beginning. And so, that's what people who are dealing with a lot of emotions feel. They they don't know what to think. I thought Malachi kind of gave the most honest answer. I don't know what to, I have no words. You have no words after something like this. I mean, that video is senseless. It's senseless. You see a law enforcement officer who is trying to claim he was in fear of his life walk around the counter to get closer to her. Crazy. Look like from the objective observation that he was trying to get a better shot. Why do you walk around the counter? Yeah, why you don't have a stun gun? Why you have no pepper spray? Why are you just gonna put out your strap on a on a defensive boom with hot water? Exactly Bitch, you told her you'll get the pot. Exactly what the scope of the DOJ this is, this is was, but uh, generally does that mean DOJ Boots on the ground here, working with the different agencies. Can you give us snapshots? I've seen it. I've done a lot of cases all across America, so I've seen it done a variety of ways. Sometimes they just say they're going to overlook what the local law enforcement does, um, like they were doing with Breonna Taylor, and then they sometimes do like George Floyd, where they actually put boots on the ground. Like they did with Vermont Aubrey, uh, Tyree Nichols. So, you know, in Ronald Green, they used the local officials. So we don't know what the scope is. We just know that they opened a file. They wrote an investigation file on Sonny Massey. Uh, and obviously, with the family's uh, guidance, if the family wants them to go deeper, we're going to advocate for them to go deeper. What we don't want to happen, and I keep reiterating this, what we don't want to happen is a Laquan McDonald situation. And nobody can tell us, oh, it's not going to happen like that. Because I'm sure that's what they said to Laquan McDonald's family. You know? The worst one I seen was Trayvon Martin. Then, that nigga wasn't even a police officer. Thank you all very much. We'll continue to update you all. I'll be back. Hey, Mr. Like I said, man, we stand with you, Sonya Massey, R.I.P. We stand with your, we stand with your family, man. We ain't finna go for this. We ain't allowing this. A real black nigga right here, man. A real black hip or Israelite. But yeah, so if you see from this video, man, Sonya Massey, man, we have to cut this video kind of short. Sonya Massey, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, they came in that bit and, and and did what it did, man. And you know, the cops, they went in Sonya Massey's place. And, 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 and they, hey, 
They they took her life, man. You know what I'm saying? The family is speaking up. They fought for the video because they were trying to sweep it under the rug. They trying to say that the neighbors did something. Man, this whole this whole thing is a bunch of bull. You know what I'm saying? It just goes to show you. If if you don't fight for your people, man, you would let these other races sweep you under the rug and keep putting us in oppression. Black people gotta speak up. We can't keep on turning a blind eye to our own people getting killed around this bit because they don't just benefit off of what we got going. You know what I'm saying? So it just it just goes to show you, man, that hey, we gotta fight back for our own people. And if we don't fight for our people, man, ain't no other race, ain't nobody gonna fight for us. They, the only thing they gonna do is laugh and stare and make up lies to keep us down. So hey, man, say man, shout out to the real people, shout out to Sonya Master family, and we out the bit hood. Now it's like crib shit. Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, dog, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental, you the engineer on it, so. Pull that everywhere.